Ravens and Fan Magazine. We are here at the third annual Jason Becker Not Dead Benefit. And I'm here with the incredibly talented Mr. Richie Cotson. Hello. And who is performing tonight. Yes. So um, you go a long ways back with Jason. And yes. Back to the Barney days. Yeah. What are, do you have any memories or I mean, anything you want to say? A lot of memories. Uh, you know, my whole start uh, internationally in the music business was uh, through Shrapnel Records and the Bay Area and uh, Jason Becker. He uh, co-produced my first record with Mike Varney, who's the president of Shrapnel Records, and that's how I met Jason. And we spent a lot of time together, a couple of months in the studio, sharing a hotel room and, and working together. He had already uh, made a name for himself by then and had done three albums. The whole thing was new to me. And so he was a great uh, coach and a mentor in the studio. And, uh, you know, we're not too far off in age, so we, we related together and we became very close friends very quick. So, I mean, you're a phenomenal guitar player too, but what makes Jason such a, I mean, what makes him such a special guitar player? Well, I think a lot of it had to do with the, where he was at at the time. Um, you know, I, I think he did, he released his first record, I think he might have been 17. Mm -hmm. And um, he, he was one of those people that was really way ahead you know, a lot of young people um, had a lot of facility back mm -hmm. then and could play a lot of different things, but I think the depth that he possesses musically mm -hmm. was there even then as a 17-year-old. Yeah. yeah, and that, that, I think, is the thing musically that really separated him from a lot of people. Right. So what are we going to hear from you tonight? Well, I'm here with my solo band, and uh, I'm going to play my music, you know. Right, and you have a new album coming out, and is it I actually do. released yet? It will be out on uh, on the um, uh -oh. <laughs> on the second of September, which okay. is right around the corner, and uh, it's kind of like a retrospective right. thing. And so there's a, a bunch of songs from the past on there. There's some re-records mm -hmm. of, of really old material. There's a DVD with videos, nice. okay. and there's two brand new songs that no one's heard before. Cool. So it's a it's a good recently written ones. Yeah. Cool. So it's a good package. There's a lot. Like I've been putting out records since what 1989, yeah. and there's a lot of people that, believe it or not, still know my name but don't really know what I do. Right. And uh, so there's been a lot of people lately that are like, oh, you know, I just heard you with the Winery Dogs, and <laughs> I never knew you sang. And I'm like, man, I've been singing since I was 17. So uh, the the question that comes out is, well, we want to get into your music. What do we buy? Right. You know, cause, and I don't know what to tell them because right. there's so many records. Right. So we decided to make one That's package smart. that kind of ties it together. And it doesn't necessarily go all the way back into my past, but it goes far enough back to cover songs that are relevant now because right. there's still songs that I play right. now. And so it's a good starting point. Right. And then with doing the re-records for the whole second CD, it's all new versions of older songs plus the two new songs. It still gives some content to people that have been following me all this time. Right, right. Because yeah. you know what? Seriously, you are a diamond. And you know what the rest of the world needs to know about it. Thank you. just an undiscovered one. That's what it is. Thank you. <laughs> right? Okay, Richie Cotson here at Jason Becker's Benefit. Not dead yet. Um, and I'm with the distinguished Michael Lee Perkins, who is one of the best guitar players we've ever seen. So, now, do you have anything to say about tonight, about Jason? Oh, man, just out here to support the, uh, the hero that he is and um, how much strength and wisdom he has for, you know, uh, he's had this for 25 years. And, uh, but this is the third tribute show and uh, it's it's amazing. I'm playing with Steve Hunter tonight, and we're gonna play some surprises a little bit later. But then uh, after us, Richie Cotson's gonna. Uh, Can we give him a hint of what you're gonna play? Voodoo Child. Voodoo Child. Yeah, Voodoo. yeah. Yeah. So that that'll be. Uh, I think the audience is gonna dig that. They won't know what hit them. <laughs> yeah. So that'll be pretty fun. Yeah. So how is your your um, solo thing going? I mean, Great. I put out good? put out a new record this year. Yep. Uh, Great press all over the world. We're just now starting to get some tour dates going, so um, some European stuff, and uh, in about a month, uh, West Coast stuff. Cool. Yep. Yep. cool. And so you'll keep Bam updated as so we know oh, what's yeah. going on with yep. you, right? Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. Great. Thank you, Michael. You're welcome. Thank you.
I'm here with Mr. Steve Hunter, who is been, who's going to play tonight. And um, how did you get involved with this? Well, Jason's an old buddy of mine. Uh -huh. I've known him for 25 years. Nice. And uh, we had a little benefit for him in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Oh, just maybe three years after we found out he was diagnosed, or two years. Um, and then there was a long pause, and then it all started snowballing again mm -hmm. to do these little benefits for Jason. So this is like my second one um, of the new group. So I've actually done three of them. I did the first one in L.A. and then I've done two. I did one last year, with, uh, sat in with Joe Satriani. Nice. And tonight I'm playing with Michael E. Perkins. But that's how I got... You're playing with Michael? Yes. Lucky you. Yes, He's absolutely. A He's an awesome player. I love him <laughs> to death, yeah. You guys, you guys you're going to just kill him. I hope so. Yeah. I hope so. Yeah, so, so what's going on for you these days? Nothing. I'm completely out of work and I'm a total really? old has-been. So well, that's it. Tonight. No. <laughs> Not tonight. So we got to make the most of it, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm, I've actually got my fingers in a lot of different things. I've, I have an album out called um, Manhattan Blues Project. It's been out for about a year. Uh -huh. I've got a DVD, a live DVD done, which we did in the studio, uh, sort of along the lines of Miles Davis, kind of blue, uh -huh. where we all kind of got in the studio and it was videotaped. Right. We made the studio look like a big living room, so it's sort of like you're in our living room, <laughs> right, right. you know, and That's we're just came. sitting around playing, you know. <laughs> yeah. uh, but it's really cool. I mean, nice. uh, Tony Levin's on bass. Oh, Tony, I love him. Yes, love he's on guy. bass. He's an old buddy. And uh, Phil, this guy, Phil Arberg's keyboard player, yeah. who played on the original Peter Gabriel first solo tour. Yeah. And then this wonderful drummer from Los Angeles, I know, his name is Alvino Bennett. Right. Mean shuffle player. One of the best oh, in the yeah. world. Yes, cool. he plays the best shuffles. Can't wait to hear. Yeah, and that's coming out very soon now. We're, yeah. we're in the midst of negotiating a couple things, so it's not coming out exactly as planned. We hope to have it out for September, but now it looks like 23rd. Okay. So, but we'll let everybody know. Well, let me know. And big Facebook thing. No? Yes, I would, I'd love to. I'd love to. We'll let you know for sure. Look who I found. Craig with Cicero here at Jason Becker's third annual Not Dead Yet Benefit. So, how did you get involved with all this? Uh, I was uh, actually reached out to by uh, Dave Lopez, who is, you know, Jason's one of his best friends and confidants and lifetime buddy. And uh, that's what they were looking for this time. They were looking for more musical, um, more, more song, I should say. Because there's, there's always been amazing music. They are looking for more bands. Right, so, diversity. Right. I, I suppose we, we're the, the, the token one with the <laughs> name of a band. You know, I, the Spiral Arms is the only band, because usually it's, it's, it's all uh, amazing solo artists. So, but, I mean, what an honor. You know, this yeah. is the ultimate dream for me. And I was a fan of Jason um, going back to 88, 89. I was first introduced to him. And realized I could never be that good. So I never tried. I just tried to do my own thing. And, but he was just on a stratospheric level compared to everybody else. So what so. makes Jason so great? Well, I'll tell you what makes him different. is that He had such a command of melody. And, uh, and yeah, all the noodling stuff that people are famous for, like that wasn't his thing. It was the notes he was reaching for and the places he was taking you emotionally were, you know, up there with some of the best of all time. And he had his own way of doing it that was completely unique. And get, standing next to a guy like uh, Marty Friedman, who I'm, uh, maybe I modeled myself a little more, I could do more bendy things like him, but Jason was like another level, you know? <laughs> and Marty's fucking great, so, you know, it's a... Uh, just jumped the fence. <laughs> yeah, J Jason's, Jason's got the kind of music that uh, inspires imagination and tells stories with, with his notes. And he doesn't need vocalists, and he never has. You know, he's he's a true instrumentalist, and uh, and and I'm sure he would have done so much more. And what he was going to do with David Lee Roth was going to set him in another direction. So, uh, it's uh, I, I'm familiar with the story. Here, here's my boys. Uh -oh, look who it is. Uh oh, look at the cat dragged in. Get into this for a second, guys. We're about to walk up. There. Oh my God. Okay, we just got this in here. Okay, it's the beard farmers. <laughs> It's the beards. <laughs> the beards are here. Okay, you guys. It's Kathy, man. You don't even know. We go way back. <laughs> okay, so you guys, what can we expect to hear from you tonight? Uh, well, well, besides that, I mean, you know, a bit more missing. Some from the new record, some from the last record, and some brand new songs that haven't been released yet. So we've got a nice mix of us. A half an hour of gotcha. Ron he's there. All right. So, and hey, let's have a shout out for Jason, all right? It's for Jason. Yes. Thank you. It's an honor, Jason. Absolutely.